All right. Um, well, it's two o'clock, so uh, we'll go ahead and get diving into this. Uh, good afternoon again. Uh, this is Phil Grigsby here, and uh, let's get into this. Um, so as we look at the situation overview, um, we're looking at a marginal risk of severe storms and flooding rainfall both today and tomorrow. Um, the storms and heavy rainfall are going to be most likely in the late afternoon and evening hours each day. Uh, after that, Saturday and a Sunday, we're going to have scattered afternoon storms possible, uh, but it doesn't look like we're going to have the severe and flooding rain threat uh, like we're expecting today and tomorrow. And then once, once we get past Sunday and into next week, uh, we'll return to the hot and dry conditions like we'd seen the last several days here. Uh, that's pretty much expected all the way through next Thursday. Um, and we do have continued drought conditions across the area and that should persist. We're not really expecting to see any significant improvement, even with the rain that we're expecting over the next few days. Um, so this is the seven day threat outlook. Um, and uh, you can see the marginal risk that I've highlighted for severe storms and flooding rains for today and tomorrow. Um, and then when we get past that, uh, the risk of anything significant occurring decreases substantially. All right, and so here's the severe weather outlook for today, and this was updated um, just a couple hours ago by SPC. Uh, the big change they made um, from the package that you saw this morning was that the marginal risk has been extended further south to include um, all of coastal Louisiana, and they did introduce a slight risk of severe storms, uh, but it's just north of our forecast area up there uh, more into central Mississippi. Um, if we do get any severe storms that develop um, later this afternoon or this evening, damaging wind gusts in excess of 60 miles per hour is going to be the main concern. Um, and again, the, the storms are most likely to occur after 3 p.m. and then continue into the late evening hours, say about 10 to 11, before they uh, finally start to dissipate as we lose the daytime heating. And tomorrow, um, not a huge difference from today. Um, still a marginal risk across pretty much the entire area. Uh, they excluded Jackson County, um, but uh, we'll see in the further updates if they extend that further east. Um, very similar setup in terms of severe weather threat. It looks like damaging wind gusts over 60 miles an hour are still going to be the main concern. Um, and uh, you know the storm timing doesn't look any different either. It looks like the you know the afternoon, especially late afternoon into the evening hours um, tomorrow is gonna be the main threat. Uh, in the morning, it may, it's probably gonna be very similar to what we're gonna see, what we saw today, um, just you know, very warm and muggy um, and sunny out, but no, um, no storms in the morning hours. All right, so here's the excessive rainfall outlook. This is uh, today into tonight. Um, again, a marginal risk over most of the area, um, including uh, Metro New Orleans, Metro Baton Rouge. Um, street flooding issues are the primary concern if we do get any cells that are a little stronger. There is the potential that they could produce some locally high rainfall rates in the one to two inch per hour range. The good news is these cells are going to be moving. Um, so even though we get may get you know, a quick inch of rain out of it um, in an hour, um, we're not expecting anything much higher than that as far as rainfall goes. Um, but again, if it you know if it rains hard enough, and in, in some areas you're going to get some street flooding concerns. So that's that's why the marginal risk is there. Um, and again, the timing is the same late this afternoon, mainly after 3 p.m. through the late evening hours. For tomorrow, um, the excessive rainfall outlook really matches the marginal risk of severe storms uh, pretty nicely. Uh, maybe just a little bit cut off there in Harrison County, uh, but overall about the same. And it's it's the same threat like we're seeing today, street flooding issues in the low-lying and, and poorly drained areas due to you know the locally high rainfall rates of one to two inches per hour will again be the main concern. Um, the timing is not any different either. It, you know, it's gonna be something that's you know mid to late afternoon through the evening hours, more likely late afternoon through the evening hours. Um, and uh, it's just gonna be the you know the a, a good storm motion as well again. Um, so it's just gonna be the the rain rates, you know, could be up high enough to produce some locally localized street flooding concerns. Um, that That's it um, out of that, you know, probably more like flood advisory criteria than true flash flood warning. That, that's kind of what we're looking at right now for the next couple of days. Um, so now we're gonna go beyond that. Uh, like I said, Saturday and Sunday, there is the risk of thunderstorms, but much lower um, potential for heavy rainfall and severe, severe weather. So um, just kind of more general, typical, 
um, summertime pop-up convection, uh, pop-up thunderstorm activity that we that we normally see. Um, so no, no big concerns there. Um, just kind of you know hit and miss stuff. As we get into next week, um, this is the six to ten day temperature outlook. So this is, this is basically for next week. Um, there's a really high probability, 80 to 90 percent, the temperatures are going to be warmer than normal. Um, basically, the same trend that we have been seeing for this past week um, across the region. Um, so I, I would expect our, our hot conditions and near record high conditions to continue um, all the way through next Thursday. Um, highs generally will be in the upper 80s and lower 90s through this period. And the uh, six to 10 day rainfall outlook on this one, uh, it's about even odds, you know, that uh, rainfall could be above or below normal. Um, so basically that's, that's near normal rainfall is currently what's predicted. Um, we'll see if that happens. Um, this is what the, you know, this is what the Weather Prediction Center and the Climate Prediction Center are thinking. But uh, if we do go into a drier trend as we get in Monday to, through Thursday, the way it looks when we have another ridge of high pressure over us, um, that I would maybe lean more towards the, the below normal range. But, you know, this is what's out right now. It may change um, as the days go by here. Um, and speaking of the dry conditions, uh, the drought monitor was updated this morning. And there was no change in drought status across our entire area this week. Uh, coastal Louisiana remains in extreme that extreme drought, um, and severe drought conditions extend above that, basically from Lake Charles um, across the Atchafalaya through Metro Baton Rouge, and then for parts of the West Bank of Metro New Orleans, um, a you know moderate to abnormally dry um, condition extends north of that for the remainder of our forecast area. That includes all of Southwest and coastal Mississippi, the North Shore um, and areas up in the Felicianas. And impacts at this time are primarily agricultural. And this is the drought tendency. So this is um, kind of what they're thinking is gonna happen over the next week. And as, as I was mentioning, uh, you know, it doesn't look like we're gonna see any appreciable rainfall once we get past say, Saturday timeframe. Um, and so they're expecting that drought conditions are going to persist um, over the next week um, in Southeast Louisiana and Southwest Mississippi. Um, there may be the potential for some um, improvement in the drought conditions further to the east, but um, that's gonna depend on, you know, the amount of rain that we see. And, and right now I would, I would say that persistence is, is, the, best, is the best thing to, to look at as far as our drought goes. So again, um, in terms of the summary of impacts, there is going to be the marginal risk of severe storms and flooding rainfall both today and tomorrow. Uh, the storms are going to be most likely in the um, late afternoon and evening hours each day, um, and damaging winds and uh, you know minor street flooding from a quick rainfall of one to two inches is what we're expecting out of these storms. Saturday and Sunday is going to be more of our run-of-the-mill um, summertime pop-up activity that we see. Um, with scattered afternoon storms around, um, but there's going to be a very low threat of severe or flooding rain going on. And uh, then a return to the hot and dry weather is expected for next week. Um, the drought conditions are expected to persist across the area with little to no improvement. Um, and so that's it. Um, I open it up to questions now if anybody has any. And uh, I think I unmuted, yeah, I unmuted everybody. Let's see, there we go. Thank you. So if anybody, yeah, you're going to have to unmute yourselves, y'all. And if you have any questions, ask away. If not, then everybody have a great weekend. And we'll talk to you next week. Thank you. Okay, I'm not hearing any questions. Everybody have a good one.